This is a planner's wort that we're removing from a football player that needs to get back to playing football. And this is a question I get asked a lot. Uh, how fast can you get this player back or how fast can I go back to work after having a wart removed? And it all depends. You know, this is a single wart. There's actually a small one next to it. And we can remove this and probably get the patient back to running in a couple days. Now, I'll say they're allowed to run in a few days whether or not they'll have pain is a different story, but the pain will depend on how many warts, how large the wart was, and how big of a wound they have to recover from. So in regards to warts like this, can you treat them topically? Can you freeze them? Well, regardless of what kind of wart you're treating, or I should say which way you're treating that wart, the goal is to remove all of the warty tissue and get all the way through the layers of the epidermis and the dermis and down to the dermal tissue. So if you remember your layers of skin, there's your epidermis on the outside, the dermis underneath that, and then below that is the subcutaneous tissue that houses all your vessels, your arteries, veins, neurovascular structures, and fatty tissue. The wart does not grow into that fatty tissue layer. So when people say, my wart had a large root or is there a root growing into the deep part of my foot that doesn't happen the wart doesn't go beyond the dermis so if we're trying to destruct it with an acid or freezing it we have to freeze or destruct through those layers that have the wart the epidermis and the dermis and it can sometimes be difficult so if we're using an acid we might need multiple applications of this acid to burn through layers and the patient would apply them topically at home and they would come in periodically to have that destructed tissue debrided or excised away with a scalpel blade and then we would do several visits of trying to destruct the skin and remove it to see if we can remove the wart. Now patients will ask about freezing it. Can you freeze one and permanently remove it? Well freezing is just a different medium or mechanism of destructing that tissue so to me it's kind of inhumane to freeze it because it's painful and in regards to how long you keep that application of if you're using something called liquid nitrogen on the skin to freeze it it can become very painful when you're trying to get through all those layers that we need to remove so I typically will resort to numbing the area and surgically excising them as you can see that we did here and in this video, you're, you can see we've got down all the way to the dermal tissue just above the subcutaneous tissue. And the patient tolerated this well in the office. And you can see when we're done doing this, we will apply a topical acid called phenol. And that's just a little bit of an insurance policy to make sure we got all those viral particles. And then after this is all done, the patient will get a gauze bandage and they'll keep that on for about 48 hours and then after that it's just neosporin and a band-aid and usually within two to four weeks this will be completely healed up thanks for watching please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and education